Okay guys, so the first movement we're going to be doing is forehand defense. And as you can see, um, it starts with a split drop, with a chassis to the side, and then a lunge, and then a recovery. So up next is the backhand defense. So what you're going to do is start nice and low in a nice wide stance and then you will then do a split drop. You'll then lunge onto your racket leg to the side with your toe pointing in the direction that you're lunging and with your racket leading. The next movement that we will be doing is we'll be doing the forehand forecourt. When you're doing this movement, you need to make sure that you do the split again, but it will be on a diagonal. So if you're right-handed, your left leg will go back and your right leg will go forwards as you do the split and vice versa for the if you're left-handed. Once you've done the split, you will then chassis forwards towards the net and then you will lunge in a nice deep lunge. Also, when you're doing the forehand forecourt, when you lunge, you need to make sure that you're pointing your toe forward and that your back foot is slightly sideways. The reason why it's sideways is because it will help with your balance and also with your recovery from the net. Now we're going to be doing the backhand forecourt. So with this movement, again, we start with the split at a diagonal. So again, if you're right-handed, your right leg this time will go back slightly and your left leg will come forwards. And then after you've done the split drop, you'll then take a left step and then a big right step or a lunge towards the net. Again, pointing your toe and making sure your back foot sideways. Now for the forehand rear. With this movement, you need to stay nice and low, and it again starts with a split drop. But as you split again, your feet will go at a diagonal towards the forehand rear, and then you will then chassis, and then you will then jump in the air, play a shot, and then you will land in the same position that you took off, but further towards the corner. You need to make sure that you stay nice and low so that when you do do the jump, you can then spring up and play the shot at the highest point and get the biggest advantage. Now for the round the head rear. With this movement, you start with a split, then you will hop and turn, and then you will then scissor kick. This is one of the most common movements for the round the head. So when you do the round the head movement, you need to make sure you stay nice and low so that when you do the scissor kick at the end of the movement, you can spring up nice and high.